Restoring precious historic artwork is delicate business. Conservators tread carefully. The paint layer on the canvas is mere millimetres and in some places fractions of millimetres thick. Other places it is gone altogether. These areas are referred to as losses. Elizabeth and Nicoletta perform tests to determine a safe first cleaning method. They decide on a very mild distilled water, pH neutral solution, which attracts dirt and makes it easy to safely remove. Cotton wool is dipped into the solution and applied over the surface and wiped away, taking years of dust and dirt from the painting. First of all, it was a canvas. Works on canvas at that time were f considered fairly ephemeral because if you were going to commission a work for a high altar, you would commission a panel painting, something durable. It was going to last for eternity. This was a beautiful banner but I think it was conceived as something that had a function in showing the face of the Innocenti outside of the Innocenti. So it traveled and it got rained on and it got brought outside into the piazza. But that was okay, because it, it, it wasn't just supposed to be hanging on somebody's wall. After the initial cleaning, Liz mixes a gel solution designed to remove the varnish layer, applied at the time of the previous restoration. Varnish, historically made from natural resins, protects the painting. It brings out the richness of colour and texture by saturating the pigments. With time, natural resin varnishes darken and turn yellow and alter how we see the colours of the painting. To restore the true colour values of the painting, this thin yellowed varnish layer is removed. Everything during the conservation process is done in specific sequence and by hand. After many tests, the gel solution is doing its job. It clears the varnish layer without abrading any original patina and precious pigment applied to this canvas some 500 years ago.